Hello, my people. You're welcome. Welcome to Nursing with Eunice. Today, we will be talking about hand washing, hand hygiene. Oh, hand hygiene. We cannot overemphasize the importance of hand hygiene. Why is this? This is because our hands are vehicles, our hands are motors, transporting germs from one section to another, from one part to another. So we need to be very thorough with our hands. We need to wash our hands regularly. This video is actually focused on nurses, upcoming nurses, people who are already nurses, and also let me say the video is for everybody really 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 everyone should wash their hands okay i'm gonna this video will be in two sections i'm gonna start with the proper way to wash your hands according to the who standard for hand hygiene and when i'm talking about um, proper way of washing our hand is a step-by-step -step method which i'm gonna really make simple for us today so once we can memorize this we can know this then it will be easy for us to remember because one thing is what you don't know you cannot practice and once you don't practice you cannot see the results so we need to practice hand washing in order for us to to be able to uh, enjoy the benefits that comes with hand washing now why do we need to wash our hands like i said earlier our hands transport infection from one section to another for instance, I've touched it, this table, okay? My hands are soiled. Either it may be soiled, I might not see it visibly. And then I go touch something else. And then I go touch the hand, the door handle or something. I've carried the, the, the jams from this table onto another place. And somebody else coming to touch that same door handle may get him or herself in trouble. Infection, infection, infection. And this we can prevent by what? washing our hands now for our OSCE students students who are preparing nurses who are preparing for the OSCE exam I want to tell you that hand washing is very important I cannot overemphasize it it will be very painful if one goes into the OSCE exam the NMC OSCE exam for the UK and then your feedback comes com comes back as she failed because she did not um, give effective hand washing or the hand washing was poor oh my god that would be very painful because hand washing is very simple and yes it is very simple and that is the reason one of the major reasons people fail to do the proper hand washing because everybody tends to tag it it's simple and everybody knows it so if it's simple yeah but if you don't practice it how would you master it you have to be a master of hand washing because it protects you and it protects those around you it protects the community at large so it cannot be overly emphasized now we'll go straight into the game. I'm going to do this hand washing steps at the beginning of this video. At the end of this video, I will repeat this hand washing step again. So you may want to stay to the end of the video to really get this absorbed in you. So at the end of the day, you're just in your subconscious, you're doing hand washing the proper way you should do it. Really, that is how it should be in order to protect yourself and those around you. Towards the middle of the video, we will be talking about why we should do hand washing what hand washing have, can save us from and 10 reasons what i tell my 10 reasons why hand washing actually should be should be done i hope you enjoyed the video please stay tuned as we go on to the section where we'll teach you the practical way of washing your hands all right now let's get straight into the business hand washing the who standard of hand washing how do we go ahead to wash our hand the right way okay the examiner tells you your time starts now you've got 15 minutes for this station your time starts now remember our key topic today is hand hygiene okay we are not going into the skill yes we will talk about skills in upcoming videos but for now Let's start with the basic hand hygiene. So you are, what do you do? Your time starts now. The examiner tells you, what do you do? You approach your scene. You see your scene is safe. Yeah? You provide privacy for your patients. Patient dignity cannot be downplayed. It is very important you provide privacy for your patient. Make sure patient comfortable. Dignity in care is very important. 100% important. All right? 
All right, so we move on now to you provide you've checked your scene safety, you provided privacy for your patient. So now you want to wash your hands because you cannot touch your patient, go close to your patient without keeping your hands clean. All right, so what you do, you take your alcohol and gel. Do you know that the alcohol hand gel has expiry dates? It does have an expiry date, yes. You, you, you verbalize to your examiner. I can see the alcohol and gel is dry and intact. You check the expiry dates. It is in date. And note, you may be put in a waiting room in the examination um, center where there is an hand sanitizer on the table. You may want to use that time to look at where the expiry date actually is on the bottle to save you time looking for, oh, where is the expiry date? You know, <laughs> stuff like that. So if you had done that in the waiting room, you would know exactly where to go to find the expiry date. So you just look at it. Oh, expiry date is in, is in, it is in date. It is dry and intact. I'm happy to use. And then you go, usually it comes like a pump. You just press it little. I put an ample amount. Now listen to this. This is the step. The hand washing step, all right? <laughs> if you need to write it down, please do. For the sake of asking exam, memorize it. I beg you, please. You put an ample amount of alcohol gel onto your palm. Rubbing your palm, palm to palm. Step one. Rubbing, I'm rubbing my palm, palm to palm. Palm over the dustbin with fingers interlaced and vice versa. Palm to palm again with fingers interlaced. Fingers interlocked and vice versa. Rotational rubbing of the thumb and vice versa. Tips to the palm of the finger and vice versa. Rotational rubbing of the wrist and vice versa. I allow my hands to air dry for 30 seconds. My hands are clean. I'm happy to approach my patients. You've done your hand hygiene. Good job. Now you can move on and approach your patients. So this one, this hand hygiene, you have to do it this way at least once in each skill to show that you can demonstrate the proper hand washing technique. And what is the rationale for this? When you put the hand gel into your hand, you can rub your hand and ensure that these steps actually assures you that the alcohol and gel has gone through all nick and cranny of your, of your, of your palm, fingers, hands everywhere. So, Whatever jams that is possibly there could die. So when you remember that, you will be able to do what? Ensure you do it the proper, the right way. Let's go over it again. This time will be a bit faster. All right? Nurses are intelligent people. So I'm sure that we can flow along. We know this already. We're just trying to like, for the purpose of the OSCE, get it in. All right? So I put an ample, I can see my alcohol um, container is dry and intact and it is indeed. I put an ample amount of alcohol gel onto my hand. Rubbing my hand palm to palm, that is step one. Palm over the dorsum and vice versa, that is step two. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced, that's step three. Fingers interlocked and vice versa, that's step four. Rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb, that's step five. Tips to the palm of the finger and vice versa, that's step six. Rotational rubbing of the six of the wrist, rotational rubbing of the wrist, that is step seven. I allow my hands to so dry for 30 seconds and my hands are clean. Can we go over it one more time? <laughs> Come on, let's do it. I check my alcohol and gel. I say it is dry and intact and it is in date. I put an ample amount of alcohol gel on my palm, over my palm, my hand palm to palm, palm over the dust with fingers interlaced and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked. Positional rubbing of the, of the thumb, positional rubbing of the thumb. Tips to the palm of the finger, tips to the palm of the finger. Positional rubbing of the wrist, positional rubbing of the wrist. I allow my hands to dry for 30 seconds. My hands are clean. I'm happy to approach my patients. Yay! So this hand watching technique usually is 20 seconds, but for the exam purpose, you could do it as fast as you can, but ensure that the first one, you take your time to do it. So the other ones, after you have attended to your patient, you know the five moments of hand hygiene before you touch your patient, when you, and when you Come and with body fluid. When you finish with your patients, when you come and cover with articles, when your hand is visibly soiled, all the you observe all the five moments of hand hygiene, but ensure that you are faster than when you're doing it subsequently. But the first one, you need to really take your time, take your time and do it the right way, please. We need to ace this exam, okay? Now that's about for those that are nurses going for the OSCE exam. I wish you all success. I've heard a lot of success stories, and I'm sure many more will come. 
go to the proper hand washing and ace that exam please i want to hear your report your comments that i passed my husky and i'll be happy about that so now let's talk about the 10 reasons why we should do hand hygiene i'm sure majority of us those that are nurses not nurses we've heard the last where our parents say have you washed your hand did you just finish from the toilet did you wash your hands you know our parents keep reminding us to wash our hands like that this is because they know that our hands are a portal of uh they are they are how will i put the english now <laughs> they carry pathogens from one from one part of um from one section to another in that for instance you've changed the diaper or you've touched something unclean and then before you know it your hands are dry you forgot you eat a biscuit or something you, before you know it you're having gastroenteritis so that can be prevented just by taking what just by doing a simple hand hand hygiene mothers encourage your children to do proper hand hygiene there is no age for hand hygiene so like i was saying there is no age for doing the hand hygiene teach your children teach your children how to do their hand hygiene when they go to the toilet even if they cannot do the seven steps of hand hygiene they can just rub their hands with the alcohol and gel and then they are good to go so now we go to the seven steps seven seven um the ten reasons why we should do hand hygiene how we should wash our hands the ten reasons one hand hygiene saves money how when you wash your hands regularly you fall ill less frequently I've heard reporter able tell me, I noticed that when I wash my hands regularly, I really have pimples, I really have aches on my face. Why? Because I notice I touch my face very often. So meaning that when you wash your hands regularly, you don't infect your face. Simple. It saves money because it also helps you to save yourself going to the hospital, in and out of the hospitals, taking antibiotics and the rest of it. You get what I mean. Is that it keeps us healthy. We just, we, research actually have shown that Keeping hands clean is one of the most effective steps that we can take to avoid getting what? Getting sick and spreading germs. And many diseases and conditions today are spread by what? Not washing our hands. So if we want to, if we want to prevent diseases, we want to prevent certain diseases, there are some that really we cannot just help. It's, we, we just experience these illnesses. But then largely, largely, we can prevent certain diseases, which we'll be talking about by just doing what? Washing our hands and washing it correctly soap and water still remains the most effective way of doing our hand hygiene soap and water it is better than alcohol and gel but alcohol and gel is an easily accessible one it is it is um it is um it is it is effective it is fast it is effective yeah and it is fast but uh, when your hands are visibly sore it's better to use soap and water to do what to wash your hands rather than the alcohol and gel but if your hands are not visibly sore it just for you to protect yourself and others around you. You could use the alcohol and gel as well. So washing our hands, it has been confirmed that it keeps us healthy. Can you beat that? It keeps us healthy. So let's wash our hands. Talking about point number three, have you, have you called to mind the door handles? The door handles sometimes can be very filthy. Why? Because a lot of people touch the door handles and then they don't even realize that they've deposited some jams on it. So if we can clean our door handles and also wash our hands before doing, before and after doing anything, procedures, you want to change your diet, try diaper, you want to feed your child, you want to eat yourself. So many things we do. The, the list is endless. Just tell yourself. We, we, we're, not, we're not meaning that you should be paranoid here like, Cleaning over cleaning, yeah. <laughs> Some people can go to that extent, but then we cannot overemphasize that our hands need to be washed. It is, it does need to be washed. So let's now go on to point number. What point no, number? Are we we we've done one, two, three. Now we're at number four. The office desk. The, the reason we need to wash our hands because some of, some of us work in the offices. The decks are dirty. We need to wash our hands because you don't know who and who has has been there. They talk over the table saliva everything splashes all around so you just need to wash your hands my dear you just need to wash your hands to keep yourself safe to keep those around you safe now we move on to point number yeah point number five the point for number five here is you could feel why is everybody washing their hands yes they are washing their hands because they've had the news they've heard that dams can spread so you join them join the winning team if everyone is washing their hands you go ahead and wash your hands as well come on <laughs> Join the winning team. Those washing their hands are falling ill less frequently. So do what? Join them and wash your hands. <laughs> Come on. Let's go to the sixth thing. 
the six um points the reason why you should wash your hands the sick reason is that it helps to prevent germs yeah when you wash your hands you fall here less frequently research have shown that i think i have um um some statistics here which i would like to share i have some statistics here let's see what do we have here Hand washing has been shown to reduce diarrhea by 23 to 40%. And we've got those that have weakened immune system. When they wash their hands more regularly, they have reduced cases of illness by 58%. Oh my God, that's a huge number. And it also helps reduce respiratory illnesses like colds and by in the general population by 16 to 21%. Just by washing your hands. Look at that. It reduces absent absenteeism. People not reporting to work, not going to school because they are sick. It is by just imbibing this in the culture, in, in children, in adults, in workers and all, it reduces absenteeism by 29 to 57%. Come on. And he, this is something that will interest you. About 1.8 million children under the age of five. Okay. Each year um die each year from diarrhea diseases and pneumonia and these are the two top killers of young children around the world and if we are saying here that hand washing can actually reduce illnesses like diarrhea pneumonia respiratory conditions it means that we could drop this number this is a huge number 1.8 million children die every year under the age of five innocent little children so if we can teach them to wash their hands these numbers can dramatically drop yes it can dramatically drop really really it does can drop so the seventh point again is less susceptible to pink eye you see people that they are they are they have a weak immunity so they've got disease condition when they wash their hands they they fall ill less frequently so like i said we cannot overemphasize it we need to wash our hands it's key it's very important and like we said it prevents jams i think i'm actually repeating some points here and it helps everyone to be healthy to a reasonable extent and do i have any other thing i have planned to say in this video concerning hand hygiene um yes this important point i want to say is this about antibiotics you know when you fall sick and you go to the hospital is that you have an infection or something they check they check you they test you the doctor confirms if it is the laboratory they take the specimen takes to the laboratory the laboratory confirm oh he or she has an infection this is the antibiotic effective to this infection and maybe the doctor is going like okay they're gonna prescribe antibiotics this happens Month number one, month number no, month number three, you are there. Month number six, you are there. Month number nine, you are there. You are giving you every other month you're taking antibiotics. Now come to think of it, if you are washing your hands and you fall ill less frequently, you may not need these antibiotics. And one one sad thing about antibiotics is that when you keep taking it repeatedly, you may become resistant to it. Your body will get so used to it that when you really need it, it won't it will no longer work. And the doctors will start looking for higher antibiotics to give you that your cells could respond to. This, all of these antibiotic issues, being resistant to antibiotics. Because medicines, like I say, I usually tell my students, medicines are poisons. That's why we handle it with care. It can make you or my you. So you have to be careful with medicines. These are chemicals. You have to be very careful. So what I advise is let's wash our hands more frequently. When we wash our hands more frequently, we'll fall ill less frequently. When we does fall ill less frequently, we'll stay healthy. We enjoy our happy times in good health. And we have more fun together. And we can be in nursing with unis to catch fun. And that reminds me, we are I'm going to um launch a fun fun section in this um channel where just once in a while we'll just Post in some jokes where we'll just play, where we'll just crack some jokes and laugh and dance like that. I'll just say, so it does. It won't be book, 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 grammar, grammar, grammar. You know, <laughs> nurses also have fun in it. So I'm gonna do that. So this is just about it for the video today. And like I said, at the end of the video, we will be doing our hand washing again. 
Do you remember what we talked about? Yes? Yes, tell me. <laughs> All right. We talked about hand hygiene. We said it is very important that we do hand hygiene because it keeps our hand free from infection. We said our hands are portal of entry of microorganisms into our body. So if we can keep it clean, we can keep our whole body safe in it. Then we talked about what else did we talk about? The proper way to do hand washing according to WHO standard. We spoke to our OSCE students, uh, those preparing for the NMC OSCE UK exam as to how to properly wash their hands. We talked about that in this video. We also talked about reasons why we should do hand washing, 10 reasons we should do hand hand washing. Some of the reasons are actually repetitive, but we've gotten the point that hand washing cannot be overly emphasized. We mentioned a staggering number, 1.8 million children dying, you know, from pneumonia diarrhea related issues if proper hand washing is being imbibed in these children this number definitely would drop research have proven one more thing i want to say is this i found out yes the do you know that we have the world um hand washing day yes we do we do have the world hand washing day and what is that let me tell you so like i said um each year a global hand washing day has been set aside which is october 15. um i made some research and i found out Mommy. that the so we have the global hand washing day which is um, october 15. i made some research and i found out that um every year this is done to remind us that washing our hands with soap and water is the best way we can take we can um, follow to avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others and this is established by the global hand washing partnership in 2008 so this day is just to remind us that we need to wash our hands keep our hands clean stay healthy when you wash your hands you're doing yourself a favor you're doing the world a favor so ask your students let's go back to class let's do our hand washing again the seven steps who standard of hand washing come on the examiner tells you your time starts now what do you do i can see my sin is safe the right privacy for my patients my alcohol and gel is dry and intact and it is in date. I put an ample amount of alcohol gel on my palm, rubbing my palm palm to palm. Come over the dust with fingers interlaced. Come over the dust with fingers interlaced. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Fingers interlocked. Fingers interlocked. Positional rubbing of the thumb and vice versa. Tips to the palm of the finger and vice versa. Positional rubbing of the wrist. Positional rubbing of the wrist. I allow my hands to air dry for 30 seconds. My hands are clean. I'm happy to approach my patients. Hello, then you start with your patient. <laughs> I think our next video should be assessment, isn't it? Let's let's do assessments, okay? It's been um, nice being with you today. We've learned a lot, a lot, a lot, and it has been fun. Come on, it's been fun. Please always wash your hands so so that this time you've used in watching this video, it will be well worth it. Until I see you again in my next video, it's time out. Bye.